New details on the crash that killed a member of a local volunteer fire department over the weekend as the suspect remains in the Erie County Prison and the community of Northeast is still in mourning. Lisa Adams is standing by live at Fuller Hose Company in Northeast with the latest for us. Lisa. Good afternoon, Amanda. There are a few key takeaways from a news conference held earlier this morning here on the apron at Fuller Hose Company in Northeast. First, Sean Giles was the kind of firefighter any department would want to have always there when he was needed. Uh, this group here, they need time to grieve, but they very much appreciate the support they've been getting from the community. Secondly, the state police investigation far from over. We learned from a patrol car. They have video of everything that happened there that day. We also learned that the driver who hit Sean Giles, Dewan Simmons, had been stopped by Erie police for driving without a license just two days before. And thirdly, state police say drivers need to pay attention to the Pennsylvania move over law anytime they approach any kind of scene ahead of them in the roadway. So again, here this morning, they reviewed the base, basic facts of the case, how Sean Giles was directing traffic around an accident that had already happened at Route 20 and Brickyard Road on Sunday, how speed played a role as a driver approached that scene and, and plowed into him, appearing to drive toward him. And then just that firefighters here not only lost a colleague on Sunday afternoon, but many of them were actually on the scene and witnessed what happened. They will be here for one another, fire department, one big family, and that was really demonstrated last night as the body was moved from the county courthouse out here to Northeast for funeral services later this week. Again, the loss deeply felt here, and it's something state police really understand because they lost one of their own this summer as well. Sean was a 13-year veteran and represented all of the characteristics you look for in the fire service. Sean's line of duty death is the first in the department's 138 year history. It's gonna take time, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt the department, it's gonna hurt all the first responders, it's gonna hurt this community for years to come. We also learned today that Adele, the wife of Sean Giles, was a volunteer firefighter herself as well for a long time with Brookside. She's also a nurse with Community Nursing Services here in Northeast. And Community Nursing Services, along with Fuller Hose, have started a Sean Giles fund at all widget financial banks so you can support that fund to help the family through this time with funeral expenses and so on. And then the funeral is set for this Friday at Gravel Pit Park in Northeast with calling hours from 1 until 4, the funeral to follow at 4, and there are expected to be a lot of firefighters present at that time. Reporting live in Northeast, Lisa Adams, Erie News Now.